As a student, I joined an eye care organization that brought underserved populations glasses for the first time. That's when I realized that there was a huge demand for this service. In response to that, I started an organization called Vision Spring. We've helped about two million people gain access to eyeglasses over the last number of years. However, we've only made a small dent in the overall problem. I feel like I need to move from building an enterprise to building a movement. My first patient was a seven-year-old boy from the School for the Blind. When we examined him, we learned, in fact, he wasn't blind at all. All he needed was a really strong pair of eyeglasses. I was a lucky person to put those glasses on that boy's face. When the glasses aligned with his eyes, this universal smile of joy erupted. I gave him his vision. He gave me my purpose. I met a Chopo Indian woman. The only pair of glasses that matched her prescription were these 1950 cat eye glasses. She went back up river to her community and was ostracized. She returned the glasses to us, complaining and explaining to us that she would rather be blind than be laughed at. That's when I learned that dignity and vanity are not monopolized by the rich. Hundreds of millions of people throughout the developing world earn their living with their eyes and hands. As they age and their vision fades, so does their income. A simple pair of glasses can return them to full productivity. What else can you source for less than a dollar that can double somebody's working life? One such customer was Chandra Muli, 44-year-old weaver and tailor from uh, southern India. He used to make saris, 20 a month. He had a good business. His vision faded. His business reduced to 10 saris a month. That's when we found him. We sold him his glasses. And with his newfound vision, he was able to rebuild his, his business back to 20 saris a month. Awareness, access, and affordability. These are the main barriers to our market. We dismantle those barriers through a group of people known as vision entrepreneurs. These are the women who also tell us about the style preferences of our customers. We take those preferences and bring them back to the design and manufacturing process uh, so we can make sure we sell glasses that people want. We sell our glasses in two broad ways, through fixed optical stores with outreach from vision entrepreneurs, as well as through partnership channels with other organizations that already have existing distribution networks that we teach how to put glasses into their basket of goods. A pair of glasses can return $216 uh, of impact to a customer. That's $108 of additional earning per year over a two-year life of a pair of glasses. In fact, this is quite an underestimate because what we find that once people get glasses, they use them for far more than two years. They use them for the rest of their lives. Now that we've created economically viable business models and we understand our impact, we're ready to scale. We're ready to replicate. And thanks to partners all around the world like Living Goods and others, we're able to go and work in over 20 countries throughout Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The result of vision loss affects the global economy by over $200 billion. 703 million people could be restored to full economic productivity through just a simple pair of glasses. Our research, our research has indicated that we could solve this problem on a global basis for $26 billion. We need to do that on a global basis. We need to bring multiple stakeholders together in an ecosystem of governments, business, and civil society to place vision issues and eyeglasses more centrally on the economic development agenda where they belong. Vision directly rela relates to economic development through work, learning, and safety. If you can't see, you can't learn. A recent study in China showed that the impact of glasses on a child's academic performance outstripped other health interventions that have been studied in the past, like deworming, like iron supplementation, and other nutritional treatments. Road traffic safety. One of the leading causes of fatality in the developing parts of the world is road traffic safety, or fatalities. 59% of which have been shown to have a visual component associated with it, with millions of people getting behind the wheel of automobiles and uh, motorcycles, it's imperative that we give them access to eyeglasses. As I mentioned before, if you can't see, you can't work. Hundreds of millions of people fall out of the workforce, not because of any major health problem, but just because they don't have a pair of eyeglasses. In addition, with the rise of mobile technology, billions of people have access to their mobile phones. But when their mobile phone can't be seen and that one foot problem is broken down, what good is it? This last image is from a story from the National Geographic this month. Thanks to the magazine and the uh, photographer for letting me use it to make my final point, which is that 
Vision Spring, and I personally will not rest until every person in the world who needs a pair of glasses has access to a pair of glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs>